With road salt season upon us here in the UK, I thought it was worth protecting the susceptible nooks and crannies of the outdoor kept Nismo from corrosion. And an early Christmas present from my mate Mike over at Minutia Detail meant I could do just that. So stay tuned to see exactly what he's come up with and how I put it to use. So Mike's interest in new Bose anti-rust snow foam has been developed to take advantage of the all-encompassing application a product like this provides to quickly add corrosion inhibition to awkward exposed or otherwise overlooked parts without having to get particularly down and dirty. And while the underside of my four-year-old daily driver isn't that crusty, the dreaded brown rot has started to tarnish some components, so preventing it from getting any worse over the coming winter months with a simple application of a pre-wash type product certainly tickled my fancy. Now, not being a snazzy, scissor lift equipped unit based car cleaner, I had to make do with some plastic ramps to get the car off the ground, but once I had, made sure they were completely secure by staring at them blankly for a few minutes before getting to work with the Bose, applying a thick blanket of it to the undercarriage using a 4 to 1 mix in my foam bottle as recommended by Mr. Minutia himself, as who am I to question the undercarriage maintenance expertise of an NSX type bar owner? Although it wasn't really dirty under there, while the sweet smelling multi-purpose snow foam was soaking into the various components, worked a few of them over with a long reach brush just to show how you could mechanically clean and protect if needs be, as soaking alone is only going to do so much, but as I say these surfaces didn't actually need cleaning, so once I grabbed some illustrative shots, let it soak and penetrate some more, before thoroughly rinsing it off with my new MTM Ultimate Gun and Wong kit from Carscope, which I'll hopefully be giving more of a mention of in my next video to leave an invisible barrier that will help decelerate future rot by repelling and neutralizing any cack handing council applied road salt for up to three months. So once the rear half of the undercarriage had been tended to, the car was carefully rolled off the ramps then jacked up so I could whip a candy red 20 incher off to freely foam the wheel arch behind, as this is another area that makes sense to treat with a product like this, and although mine feature a fair amount of aluminium and again weren't particularly crusty, there's still always going to be rustable bits and pieces in a wheel arch that will benefit from corrosion inhibitors, so following application made sure to give mine a good few minutes to soak. Now looking back it would have made sense to strip the plastic liners and apply the snow foam directly to the body at least initially but in terms of general product implementation you get the idea and you don't have to remove your wheels as a well aimed application through the arch gap when tended to the rest of the car should still sufficiently fit with foam. Again you could go in and agitate with a brush to help clean things up a bit but I generally advise using this product after a thorough clean so the shots I'm showing here are intended to illustrate either a final product application or maintenance application to a specific area that's only superficially dirty. Another area that might benefit from a thick blanket of anti-rust snow foam is the engine bay as it's one of the more neglected parts when it comes to cleaning and protecting. And while the heat cycles of the engine as well as oily vapour generally help to slow engine bay rust, there's still plenty of components in there that can and do corrode, especially if your car sits for any considerable period of time. 
And while mine doesn't, it still hadn't seen any kind of clean since I filmed a dedicated one with it 18 months ago. So after spraying it down, agitated it over with a soft brush to dislodge any accumulated dirt and grit, which gave the Bose an extra few minutes to do its thing before being thoroughly rinsed off at reduced pressure. And yes, I know I let the exposed air filters get a bit foamy and wet here, but as long as you don't go for a full throttle spin directly after, which obviously I didn't, getting them temporarily wet isn't a big deal in my book. So the final and most obvious way you can put a product like this to use is on the exterior just as you would a conventional snow foam. Again, while I essentially used it as a pre-wash here just to show it on the surface, I'd ideally recommend reserving it for a final application following a contact wash, much like you would with, say, a ceramic snow foam. But either way, so long as you don't let it dry on the surface, you can pretty much use it however you like. Once applied, it'll naturally work its anti-corrosive ways into the car's various panel gaps and exterior cracks and crevices, which is where unseen rust often starts. It's LSP safe, so you needn't worry about it stripping your precious paintwork protection. And while I'm not sure if repeated use serves to build up layers of anti-rust protection or not, it certainly isn't going to do any harm using it on the regular, which I'll certainly be doing over the coming months. So with rust being a somewhat inevitable part of life when it comes to outdoor kept and daily driven cars in this part of the world, products like this make it a bit easier to slow the rot or even prevent it from taking hold if you start using it early enough. And while there are of course other anti-corrosion and rust inhibitor type products available, I've never come across one in dedicated snow foam form before. So links to the Bose product and detail spray, which I unfortunately didn't get a chance to use here, can be found below with free shipping. So cop a bottle if you too fancy snow foam in the crustier nooks and crannies of your car. If all goes to plan, I'll be back with a roundup video featuring my favourite tools and products of the year sometime before Christmas. But in the meantime, I suggest doing all you can to hold the salt.